Welcome back everyone. I started this channel almost exactly six months ago. And today, over almost 150 videos, 1,800 subscribers and 4,300 hours of watch time later, I'm very happy to announce that YouTube has finally monetized my channel. I just wanted to give a big thank you to everyone who has supported me in this endeavor and besides my lovely wife, that means all you viewers out there who have helped me grow along the way. As a very small token of my appreciation, I thought I would show you all how to get thousands of free Photoshop gradients for you to use in projects like this big thank you image right here. Let me show you how I did it in Affinity Photo 2. I started with this image of a gold bar I downloaded from pixabay.com. I'll leave links to this and the couple websites I'm about to talk about in the description. The first website is called resourceboy.com. If you follow the link in the description, you'll find all of these different Photoshop gradient palettes that you can download. I clicked on the 200 gold gradients and then the red free download button. All right, as these are Photoshop gradients, you can't use them in Affinity right away. You need to convert them to a file type Affinity recognizes. To do this, go to the MikeStimson.com link I also provided. Then, click on the Convert Adobe Gradient File button, choose the file you just downloaded from Resource Boy, and then click Download Affinity Palette. OK, back in Affinity Photo, you need to go to your Swatches panel. If you don't have that up, Go to Window in the menu and select Swatches. Then, click the little hamburger icon in the top right corner and scroll down to Import Palette and then choose one of the options. I chose Application Palette, then selected the Resource Boy file, which imported right into the Swatches panel. All right, so let's test this out. I'll go to the A-shaped artistic text tool in the left-hand toolbar and out-drag my cursor out to size some text. Then. I'll type the word THANK in all caps. I'll then hold the command or control key while click dragging on the word to duplicate it and moving the copy down. I'll change that text to you. By the way, I really do mean it when I say thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate all of you tuning in. Okay, now I'll click on the arrow shaped move tool and then highlight the word THANK. Then, I'll scroll through my giant list of gold gradients in the swatches panel and I'll just pick a random one at the bottom. The gradient is oriented horizontally and I want it to go vertically. To change that, you can select the gradient tool on the left-hand toolbar and drag your cursor out from bottom to top. I'll do that one more time for the word U. All right, now I'll use my Move tool to center the word U under the word THANK. Then, I'll hold SHIFT and select both words to select them both, and I'll move them where I want them. OK, now I'll switch to my Layers panel, and I'll select both text layers, right-click on them, and scroll down to Group to group them together. I'm going to give the text a little thickness by doing a couple things. First, I'll click on the FX button at the bottom of the Layers panel and I'll select 3D and check the box. I don't have to move the slider much as I just want a little added shadows around the edges. Next, with the Group layer selected, I'll click the Enter key to bring up the Move Duplicate panel. I'll type one in the horizontal box, one in the vertical box, check the duplicate box and raise up the copies slider. Then I'll click the Right Insertion Mode button to insert the copies underneath one another. That looks pretty good, so I'll select OK to bake in the changes. All right, one last thing here, and then I'll let you go. I want to add a little reflection like the gold bar to the right has. So I'll hold the Shift key while selecting the top and bottom text layers to select them all. I'll right click on them and select Group. Then I'll right click on them again and select Rasterize to put all of them into a single pixel layer. OK, now I'll click Command-J to duplicate the layer and select the lower one. I'll right-click on the words Thank You and scroll down to Transform and then Flip Vertical to turn the layer upside down. Then 
I'll use the Move tool to drag it down below the other text, and I'll grab the little handlebar at the very bottom of the selection box to give a tilt to the words that matches that of the gold bar. Finally, I'll go to the Live Filters button at the bottom of the Layers panel, and I'll select Gaussian Blur. I'll raise the slider up just a bit to give it a little glowy blur. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for your likes, thanks for all the subs, and for those of you who were generous enough to buy me a cup of coffee, thanks for the caffeine. Have a great day, everyone.